The police force down here in Sussex, well, not down here because we're in London, but in the UK, we've got a place called Sussex for the people that are not from the UK. For whatever reason, they started policing pronouns. There was a man that committed a sexual offence against a child. I'm not entirely sure what the criminal did, but the Sussex police were referring to this person as a female. I understand that people want to be referred to as their preferred gender and they want people to use the correct pronouns, but that does not come into it when a child has been assaulted, especially when it's a sexual assault. You do not bring in this gender affirming stuff when it comes down to these sort of things. This was a man that committed a sexual offense, not a woman. And it's very, very important that you correctly identify the person that did that. But instead of focusing on the case, the Sussex Police Twitter account decided to police the people that were misgendering the sex offender. What they said was, Hi, Sussex Police do not tolerate any hateful comments towards their gender identity regardless of crimes committed. This is irrelevant to the crime that has been committed and investigated from the Sussex Police. It is not irrelevant. You're referring to someone as a female. It was a male that attacked the child. The problem here is is that you are more concerned with telling people how to talk than doing your job properly. The actual situation here, I feel, is being dismissed because somebody's not being referred to as their correct pronoun. That is absolutely absurd. I understand, like, if I'm out in my day-to-day, -day, it's one thing. When there's a child that is potentially going to be traumatized for the rest of their life, I don't know exactly what this person did to them, but it was some sort of sexual crime. Your response is to protect their gender identity. This person doesn't pro uh, deserve protection from nothing. Nope. Least of all the respect of referring to them as their preferred pronouns. Their pronoun should be the least of everyone's worries. Yeah, and for you to be on Twitter doing that, and the thing is, they were spamming this. They were spamming, we do not tolerate hateful comments. There's nothing hateful here. If you are on Twitter affirming this, when you're writing up the report of who assaulted this child, exactly what are you writing on that report? Because it is it's very important that we get the right person on the report. Mm. If you're referring to them as a female, does that mean you're going to send this person to a female prison? Because if you think that someone misgendering them on Twitter is uh, hateful and a hate crime or whatever you want to call it, then if you don't do it yourself and don't refer to them as a female when you put them in jail and eventually process them to send them off to prison, then isn't it a hate crime as well on your end? Shouldn't you mm -hmm. also be sent to a female prison? But we know not to send men to female prisons because we know exactly what happens when you do. And even if you didn't know what happens, you should be able to do one plus one equals two, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's as clear as day what would happen. But obviously the Sussex police, um, they came under a lot of fire for that and they, I think they backtracked their statement. The court sentenced Sally and Dixon as a woman to 20 years in prison for offences committed against seven children. Now adult seven children. And you're really concerned about their pronouns and hurting their feelings. We reported factually on the findings of the court, which heard that at the time of the offences, Dixon was living as a man, John Stephen Dixon. The relevant offences were recorded as being committed by a male. Okay, so they recorded it as a male. An early reply to a comment on Twitter was ins inconsistent with our usual style of engagement. We apologize for this and have removed the comment. We recognize the rights of the public to express themselves freely within the boundaries of the law. Now, what I want to know is where this person is being taken. Yeah. They've committed violent crimes against children seven times who are not adults. So enough time has passed for these people to have like lived, uh, gotten past this point. But some of them could be tra uh, traumatized from this situation. You're referring to them as Sally now. You're saying that they're living as a female. So where are you sending them? Mm. Are you sending them to a male prison or are you sending them to a female prison? Because there's going to be more problems if you send them to a female prison you realize that right the prisoner's safety should be your concern over affirming their gender and this isn't me being hateful towards anyone that wants to be affirmed as the opposite gender but this is a crime against children this person needs to be processed correctly there's a time and place for certain things and this is not it can we all agree that messing with children that should be where the line is mm. I mean, the line should be way before, but if we can't agree on anything before that, we can agree that messing with children is a step too far. So where, where is the Sussex police sending this person? Are you sending them to a male prison or are you affirming their gender identity and sending them to a female prison? I would actually like to know if, if someone out there knows where this person's gone, then get in contact and let me know and we'll do a follow-up video on this because mm. this is all mad to me. This mm. is all mad.